Hey guys, so I recently learned a really fast and convenient way to find electron geometry, so I thought I'd share. Um, so let's get started. So there's a few steps. Step one, you're going to identify the central atom and then count the number of valence electrons of the central atom. Count how many terminal atoms are attached for step two. And then step three, you're going to add valence electrons of the central atom plus number of terminal atoms and then divide that by two. So let's see a few examples. But before we do so, there, uh, there is one exception. Um, if oxygen is present as a terminal atom, do not count it. You would just divide the number of valence electrons of the central atom by two. Okay, let's see some examples. So BrF5. Now, step one says that you're going to count the number of valence electrons of bromine. So that's seven. And then it has five atoms attached. So the electron geometry will be seven plus five divided by two. That's six. And as you guys know, that's octahedral because six things around an atom for electron geometry is octahedral. So the next, next example would be H2O. So we know that oxygen is the central atom, which has six valence electrons um, and two atoms attached, two hydrogens. So that's six plus two equals, or divided by two is four, and that's tetrahedral. Now the last example will be with our exception for oxygen. So there's SO2. We've, we know sulfur is our central atom that has six valence electrons. And then, as I showed you guys, for the exception, you do not count the oxygens. So it'll just be 6 divided by 2 equals 3, and that's trigonal planar. So thanks for watching, and good luck.